Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to Shivers. We are inside Professor Windlemont's Museum of the Strange and Unusual. And there is no Exupi in the fireplace. So, the next thing we see is there is another door here, but notice this rug. I didn't actually notice this, but if you unroll the rug, there's a passage here. And we have another elevator. Maybe another puzzle. Same thing as before, we gotta get it in this row that we got these in different spots, and these arrows might do different things now. Like, three moves this time. <laughs> Wait. Uh. Yes! Got it! <laughs> now, it's tough in this game because every time you wanna enter an elevator, you're gonna have to do that every time. Oh no! Elevator music. Ugh. Uh oh. Oh, that creepy boom. Ugh. I'm sure which is more disturbing. <laughs> I think this floral pattern on the door. Ugh. I don't know. I love this violin sound. It is like the saddest music, but it is so pretty. It's nice music, yeah. I like violin music. Oh, a knight! Ugh. Oh, it's just a statue. We're in a bedroom, it looks like. Yep, bedroom. <laughs> Look, a bed. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, a desk. Always worth investigating. Oh. Oh. I wonder who this is. Certainly not the professor. It's probably one of the eggs would be. Hmm. <laughs> uh, journal. Dear Jeffrey, I am a what? I am addressing this diary to all. Oh, Jeffrey's his son. That must be his son in the picture. Mm. September first, nineteen fifty-nine. Hmm. Nothing in here is overly important. It describes how he's having problems working the museum. Uh, for example, he, he wants the museum to be, like, a big secret, so he doesn't want anyone from the town helping him build it. So he, like, hires out some workers. I believe they're actually, they are actually Mexicans. I, I don't know where it actually is in here, but I think he actually mentions they're Mexicans. <laughs> or foreign workers. But he does mention a time here of 5.30. That's going to be important. And we can actually look back at this diary later if we need to. A uh, journal. What's the difference between a journal and a diary? I guess diaries are more for girls and journals are for men. Um, I, I think diary implies something a little more personal, whereas a journal is more like a, a rigid scientific log of events. Hmm. Listen. Do you hear that? Yeah. I fear this metal suit might have some surprise for us. <laughs> Let's avoid that for the moment. Hey, a little clock. And the time, 5.30. Hmm. One of a little... I love this tower clock. I want this. <laughs> uh, we got a window we can look at. And see a Sierra background. <laughs> oh. Ooh, a closet. The professor has impeccable fashion. <laughs> Nothing else in here. There is a chest, but we can't open it. And there is the crest of the Windelmont family. I, I believe they are English, the Windelmonts. And yes, we have to do this elevator puzzle again, but, as you'll notice, there's been a change. Every time you go in an elevator, it kind of increments the difficulty counter. Eventually, this can become oh, six man. times six, and now we don't even have arrows here. But again, it needs to be a, ho a row right here diagonally. Oh man, that's kind of ridiculous. You think? <laughs> but actually, this is probably the easiest level because no matter how many clicks you need, as long as you can get like one of these figures in a row, row, or in this case a column, you can just keep on manipulating the arrows until they're all in the right place. <laughs> so that's actually pretty easy. Let's go back downstairs. And then the cable breaks and we die! Ah! Well, thanks for watching. This has been Shiver. <laughs>
No, we want to give people more bang for the buck. Well, let's get back out of here. Yeah. Let's open this door. Oh. Hey. Pretty fancy. <laughs> Check this out. I like the decor here. Yeah, this is what the museum was going to look like. Well, it does look like. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, we've got these little placards here. You can get points by reading them. The Transforming Masks. Hmm. I won't be reading those because they're really not important. Uh, in most cases. In some cases, they are actually important. Ooh, birds. Ooh. Check this out. It's a bee. Hmm. Hmm. But I still want to keep that other one. Now, I don't know how you were ever supposed to know to open that. There's like nothing in the game to ever tell you to do that. Nope. I guess it's just that flip on everything mentality. Hmm. Whoa, wait a minute. Yeah, this is another thing. Trying to get the camera right is a pain here. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, that's where the screwdriver went. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna guess this might have been put here in anger. I'm gonna guess. Uh, it was probably just a convenient holding place. He thought, oh, I've got this tool here and I've got nowhere to put it. I'll just embed it <laughs> in that pillar. And here's another thing. Uh, the items in this case were found in a Mayan ceremonial cave in British Honduras. The jade skull is one of the largest jade items in the world. And I never actually found this for a long time, but there is actually the broken part here where that skull used to be. But it's not here. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Uh, you got this beautiful little fountain over here, but no water. Hmm. Hey, a spigot. But I'm actually not going to use that right now. For a reason that you probably might be able to put together pretty quick. What's behind this door? Let's see what's behind door number three. A library. Nice. In a museum, no less. Sweet. Now, despite the fact there's tons of books here, there's actually only four that are really relevant. This one, The Mythology of the Stars. Ooh. For those of you who never took, you know, sixth grade science, here's what the solar system looks like. But, oh, 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 wait a minute. Pluto. Pluto is not a planet. Oh, it doesn't say it's a planet, it just says it's uh, part of the solar oh, system. That is true, it doesn't say that, but it's giving it an orbit which suggests it is. Mercury, and Venus, the goddess of love. Mars, the god of war. Earth. Oh. Wait a minute! Hmm. The book is four, six pages? <laughs> hmm. Guess that's what you call a short read. But um, <laughs> They didn't need to describe all the planets, just the. Just the important one. <laughs> Just the ones relevant to your adventure game. <laughs> South American pictographs. Let's see the symbol for fire. Water or rainwater. Oh, we just saw this one. It is easy to see the hovering bee as bees wax in the symbol for wax. Ashes. Lightning. Cloth or reeds. Metalwork. Oh, we saw that one too. Oh, yeah, we did. Trees. Crystals, sand or earth, symbol for burning water. It would be assumed that this would include petroleum products such as tar and oil. Symbol for jade. So, hmm. And the symbol for stone. We saw that one on the professor's pot. Hmm. So stone got him. Hmm. What's this one? In the search of the unexplained. Oh, the great Sphinx. Now these pictures are going to be important. And we can pull these books up later. Mm, unicorns. It mentions a lot about unicorns, but they never affect anything. Now, this book. This book's important. But not really. Oh, it, has, <laughs> it has that same symbol that was emanating from the hand of the dead body we found. Right. That was drawn by his finger. Um, you can pause this if you want. Basically, the Exupi are, if I remember correctly here, are the snake god's children. They were in prison. What they did is they took the souls from people 
and imp and Im and took their life essence for themselves. A group of people eventually imprisoned them inside these pods, but knew that if the pods were opened, they would be stronger when they were released, and could assume the forms of the elements of the pod on the outside. And that apparently has happened, and we're going to have to see if we can figure out a way to stop them next time, because we're out of time. So as far as a 23, and I'll see you next time for more Shivers! Grrrr! <laughs>